dare you? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! So we are in the midst of marathon training. We just <laughs> We did not just go for a swim. No, we went for a run. Stick around, we'll tell you about our plans and how they're going. So today was our four mile run for our training plan. Mm -hmm. How did we get to that training plan? So I showed, we showed last time making the thing and the grid and I explained, you know, the whole sticker system, all that, which by the way, we've got our stickers in. Oh yeah. They're adorable. They're awesome. Uh, we got little like rainbow, we got a little running man and we got a little yoga guy and uh, little weights, I don't know, for all the different activities that we're doing. Yeah. Throughout cool. the week for it's our training. Um, <clears throat> so the actual mileages, we also mentioned, let me back up, we also mentioned we're going to run more than once a week for right. the first time yeah. ever. And we've been doing training. all right. We've been doing yes, two weeks in. Uh, so uh, for the long run day, which for us will be Saturday, um, I basically ripped the mileages from the Jeff Galloway training plan on Run Disney's website. We did that last time. It seems to work. I, I changed some stuff. Uh, like towards the end, I'm not gonna run 26 miles before, or I think they actually make you go over like yeah. 27. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, and it's a great training plan. I mean, it, it got us going, but yeah, yeah but we, yeah, we we tweak some of the yeah. longer runs towards the end because yeah. we're we're just not gonna yeah. go that high. I think 22 is where I have us maxing out. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I find it it has taken literally years for me to um, figure out that I should do it this way. Um, Inevitably, what happens is you make this grand plan, uh, you know, you, you have all your mileages figured out, uh, sorted out, and then, um, you know, life happens. For example, this is our, our marathon uh, training from 2020. Yeah. <clears throat> and you see here, uh, we put some stitches along this week, which was supposed to be a 13 mile run week because David had some surgery on his head. Yeah, so, if you want to uh, look back on that, we'll put, we'll put a link. I removed the stitches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so obviously we weren't going to run a 13 mile uh, run that day after he just had his head chopped open. Yeah. So we, we moved it, so I have to draw a little arrow and say, okay, no, um, hey dummy, why don't you just write it in pencil? Yes. So this year's training plan, we Great. are set for uh, random disturbances to our training plan, I'm just gonna erase it and put a different number there. Yeah, so, yeah that's the thing to remember. Solved. You know, the, the uh, if you follow the Galloway plan or, or any other plan, uh, be flexible, cause mm -hmm. you know, stuff happens. Yeah, you know, it's not the end of the world if you don't run 13 miles this week, you can yeah. run 13 miles next week, yeah. or 11, or 10, or whatever, yeah. the point is just to yeah. keep going. Yeah, so that's how, uh, that's how our plan was laid out. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we have our new awesome uh, uh, calendar. Mm -hmm. on I'm bridge. also something else. Since one of our goals this time is not simply to finish the marathon, which is what we did last time, our goal this time is specifically to like do it just a little bit faster. Um, and we are specifically taking steps and doing things to try to you know help us do that. So um, I'm actually on our run days on our training calendar. Uh, I'm writing the mileage and our average time just to kind of like hopefully prove to ourselves that we are speeding up a little bit. Yeah. So. yeah. And then some of the other things we're trying to do, uh, like I we talked about. On myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting still. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, one of the other things we're doing is uh, uh, nutrition and hydration. Yeah. So uh, we purchased a product called uh, Drip Drop. It's a, a powder, electrolyte, electrolyte powder. powder. Uh, yeah. So, you know, we're working with that and we'll talk about that uh, in uh, subsequent videos. We uh, started that today and uh, feel pretty good. Uh, let's talk about the run a little bit. Uh, yeah, so it was extremely humid. Yeah. So humid that it started raining about a third of a mile into our four-mile mm -hmm. run, which was fine. The rain actually felt better than fun. the humidity. Yeah. So It's like practicing for Florida. It is. We are totally training for Florida. <laughs> um, and the good thing, too, about just being completely and totally soaked head-to-toe is that it doesn't matter if you run through a puddle because oh, yeah. your feet are already soaked. It's no big deal. So 
Um, yeah, so we, we ran around the neighborhood. Um, no footage from our run this morning because it was raining. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, should back up. We took Millie for a walk first. Oh, yeah. We warmed up with a, a mile and a half walk with uh, Coach Millie. Mm-hmm. She did great. Her splits were awesome. Uh, yeah, so the run was great. I mean, running yeah. in the rain. So that's the other thing. You know, we, we, had, we had absolutely planned to have rain when we ran the marathon because it rains every 15 minutes in Florida. Mm-hmm. And guess what? It didn't rain at all for the yeah. whole 26.2 miles. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, plan for that kind of stuff. And, and part of it is gear. Uh, the the gear you wear uh, is going to make a big difference because we were and I'm, I'm still uh, we were soaked on our run. Our porch is covered in clo- like we we had to hang all of our clothes out to dry. Yeah, like, so drenched. You know, consider consider what you're wearing because uh, we have uh, quick dry stuff. Uh, Not but, that quick. But yeah, I mean it just yeah. it it rained on us for the whole four miles. Oh, uh, here here's a thing too. Uh, we learned the last time we slogged through a rain mm-hmm. run uh, is drying shoes. There is a trick to drying out your completely soaked running shoes. So here's the thing. You think, oh, I'll just leave them out. They'll be dry by tomorrow. No, they won't. No, they'll be cold and damp <laughs> yeah. by tomorrow. Yeah. So this is the trick. Take whatever insole you have in there out. So whether it's the one that came with a shoe or like me, uh, you, you have a supplemental insole. Mm-hmm. Take it out. You'll dry it off separately, and like once you take it off, you're like, oh yeah, that's a good idea to take this out because it's like the water gets trapped between it and the rest of your shoe yeah, underneath. Yeah, right. So take it out, crumple up newspaper, and just shove it in your shoes. Shove it in all the way, all the way, just newspaper. Let that sit overnight, and they'll be dry tomorrow. It really works. So, Give it a shot. Good Florida trick too yeah. if you're going to Disney. Oh World, yeah, that's right. Because uh, rain's over there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so try it. Newspaper. Mm-hmm. Shove it in there. Next day, you're ready to go mm-hmm. for uh, you know whatever you're gonna do. But it looks like we uh, are uh, speeding up, mm-hmm. uh, and, and that's great. Uh, we're comparing our runs to uh, you know runs from uh, earlier in the year and last year, and uh, so far so good, and we feel pretty good. So uh, it, it looks like uh, the training is worked out so far. Uh, yeah, two weeks in. Yay! Yeah, this yeah. is great. Yeah, we are honestly so excited to be training for. I mean, I've, I've talked about it all week. We're kind of giddy about yeah the possibility of running this yeah. marathon again. So again, the uh, sign up is getting closer and closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna, you know, keep our fingers crossed and hope uh, that we we get in. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. So uh, again. Tell us how you're doing. Uh, share some tips. Um, we'll have some uh, uh, links to uh, some of the gear in uh, in the description. And uh, uh, this is, it's just great. I, you know, like I always say, no matter what we do, it's always an adventure with you. <laughs>